everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lexi and today we have a sports theme. Do you like sports? If you do, what's your favorite? Mine is baseball. Here's a list of today's activities. We are going to start with a warm up, then we're going to play a game of beanbag basketball. And last, we're going to play finger soccer. Okay, let's get started. First, we have our warm up activity. This warm up activity is called baseball gloves. It's a way that we're going to warm up our hands. First, we're going to put our hands in front of us and spread them wide like a baseball glove. Next, we're going to bring our fingers together and hold them like mittens. If doing this warm up is a little too difficult up in the air, place your hand flat on a table. You're going to place your hand flat on a table and do the same motion, bringing your fingers out and then squeezing them together. Whichever way works best, let's do 10 together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, everybody. Now we're ready to play our first game. Okay, that was our warm up. We get a cross warm up off our list. Two more things to go. Can you tell me what's next? That's right, we have bean bag basketball. Now we're going to play bean bag basketball. For this activity, you'll need bean bags or you can use any other types of balls. I even use crumpled paper. Place the crumpled paper or bean bags about 10 feet away from your basket. We are going to be doing kangaroo hops from the basket to your throwing items. You can see here that kangaroo hops we are bouncing with our feet together. Start your kangaroo hops towards the pile of balls. Pick up a ball and toss it into the basket. Nice work. Now kangaroo hop back and around your basket. Back to the pile and keep throwing. Nice. You're gonna keep doing this until all of the crumpled paper, bean bags, or basketballs have made it into your basket. Nice work. Okay, that was bean bag basketball. Let's cross bean bag basketball off our list for today. We only have one more activity today, and it's finger soccer. Let's get started. Now we have finger soccer. Here are the materials you'll need for this activity. You will need at least three popsicle sticks, preferably the large ones, as well as Play-Doh or putty. To make the goal, you are going to need your three popsicle sticks. Place them on the table, two going straight down and one going across, just like this. You can put these out of the way while we make our soccer balls. We are going to make five soccer balls. Take your Play-Doh out of the container. Now, using our pincher fingers like I have here, we're going to pinch five pieces off of our Play-Doh ball. To make the soccer balls round, try using your fingers of just one hand to roll your piece of Play-Doh into a ball. If using just one hand is too difficult, try using the fingertips of two hands to roll your Play-Doh ball. If rolling the pieces of Play-Doh into a ball using just your fingertips is still too difficult with both hands, try rolling the ball in between your, the palms of your hands, like this. You may also put the piece of Play-Doh on a table or hard surface 
and use the, your hand to roll on top of the ball to form it as well. This may be a good option if coordinating your hands together is too difficult. Now that we have all of our Play-Doh balls rolled, we're gonna knead the goal that we made earlier. We're gonna use our pincher fingers or our pointer finger and thumb to flick our balls into the goal. I put my fingers behind the ball and point with my pointer finger like this. If making that motion with your pointer finger and thumb is too difficult, try using all of your fingers together. For an extra challenge, try flicking as fast as you can to see how many you can make inside the goal. All right, everybody, that was our game of finger soccer. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's cross that off our list. We've done everything on our list. You did such a great job today. We can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye.